The next Sport Life program is on the air, and Alexander Abramova is here with you. Hello. Let's start as usual with the most interesting news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. The sensational fight between Alexander Shlemenka and Magomed Ismailov was postponed once again. Why and on which date was the fight postponed and what does Shlemenka himself think about it? We'll tell you about that right now. Recall that Atlas signed the contract for the fight back in May of this year at the RCC press conference. However, the question of the date of fight remained open for some time, as the ball predator Ismailov underwent the knee surgery in the spring due to an injury that he had previously received. Initially, the fight was supposed to take place in the end of August and then in the end of autumn. Now they announced the postponement of the fight to December this year. Nevertheless, the storm fight in August will still take place, however, with another opponent, whose name is still unknown. Presumably, the opponent may be the former Strike Force champion Ronaldo Souza from Brazil. Schlemenka himself speaks about the next postponement of the fight with Magamed as follows. Of course, I was a little bit upset because I wanted to fight with Maga, but I can only wish him the speedy recovery. We will meet with him for sure because our fight is not cancelled but postponed. I cannot talk about it yet, but the RCC team has prepared for me no less or even more dangerous opponent than Magamed Ismailov. When soon everyone hears his name, they will understand that this is a worthy replacement. Meanwhile, the team of MMA-TV.com is actively preparing for the next 54th MMA Series tournament that will take place on July 13th at the Triumph Liberty Sports Palace. Today we will talk about Maria Artugina's opponent, whose return to our octagon we have been waiting for since May last year. The new rival of the representative of the Paris Red Club will be an athlete with five years of experience in fighting at the professional level. Begay Magbalaeva from Kyrgyzstan has four victories and three defeats in her arsenal, and her last entry into the octagon took place in September last year, where Ugila Nasimova was defeated by the unanimous decision of the judges. Prior to this event, at the end of January 21st, Begayim was defeated, having fallen for a choking triangle performed by Sora Rahmanova. Now the athlete is on a winning path of one fight and is extremely motivated to continue the streak of successful battles. Maria Artugina has only one pro fight more on her account. The athlete won victories in her last two duels and will also try to take her another successful outcome of the battle into her piggy bank. We wish the girls good luck and look forward for their performance in the octagon of the series. Having made his bright debut on our side last November with a confident victory over the Wolfhound Duramanov, Mexicano Jr. will face a serious test in the form of a duel with an extremely experienced fighter, Argen Marabek from Kyrgyzstan. The former owner of the silver bottle of the winner of the MMA series, Wunderlei Mexicano Jr., is ready to return to the octagon. The Brazilian from the core MMA team with a record of 12-5 defeated Alexander Duramanov in November last year and took the silver bottle of the winner of the series. This was followed by the defeat in the battle for the silver bout. Abdul Gajik Aziz was stronger than Wunderlei at the MMA series 47 tournament. After that, Mexicano returned to Brazil and began more than a six-month process on working on the box. However, he will face one of the most dangerous opponents in his entire career. Argemora Bekulu from Kyrgyzstan has 17 wins and none defeats on his account. His tactics are difficult to predict because the athlete is able to both win in a full distance and to take away fights with painful techniques. Before losing to Ramazan Timurov two months ago, Argen was on the winning path of six fights. So now, as well as Wanderlei, he will try his best to close his latest defeat. The main match of the evening will be the confrontation with the participation of the representative of the club Kuzna, Viktor Kolesnik. His new opponent will be the Brazilian athlete Jonathan Cavalcanti with the nickname Monstro, who has 20 professional fights in his arsenal. Jonathan Cavalcanti from Brazil has been leading his professional career since 2011, and over the past two years has managed to hold four fights, three of which were in his favor. His extreme entry into the octagon took place relatively recently. In January of this year, Pablo Lobo was defeated by the chokehold at the end of the third round. In the same way, the athlete completed the two previous fights, strangling his opponents in the first five minutes. Viktor Kolesnik has recently preferred to deal with opponents by knockouts, and preferably not later than in the second round. We will watch with interest the duel of fighters who have not known defeat since the last year. 
The cast of the MMA Series 54 Triumph Tournament are waiting for another super duel, the participants of which are already familiar to our viewers. This are Shamil Abdulhalikov, who is on a winning path of three fights in the framework of the series and a pupil of the Ala Buka Club Narkul Ulu Ali Bek. The representative of the Guards Club Abdulhalikov Shamil has already performed three times within our promotion where each of the fights ended in his favor. Shamil's extreme performance took place at the end of February, where Ali Reza Shirati was defeated by knockout in the second round at the 49th tournament of the series. In total, the athlete has 15 wins and 4 losses. At the same time, Abdul Halikov is on the winning path of three successful performances. His new opponent will be Ali Beknarkul Ulu from Kyrgyzstan with the nickname Habib, who is also already familiar to our viewers after defeating Roman Kurasov by unanimous decision of the judges in the 50th second event of the series, which took place a month ago. After the defeat to Sergei Kalinin in September 18, the athlete managed to process his failure three times and is clearly determined to continue the series of victories. And this was the Sport Life program and its presenter Alexandra Abramova. Follow the news of your favorite promotion on our social networks and on the MMA-series.com website. Stay with us and watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com. See you on the air every Thursday.